Step 19. Installing Exterior Panels on the Roof An important point to make on this step is that you'll need at least two people to install panels on the roof, and three is really the best. One person will be on a tall step ladder, extension ladder, or scaffold inside the building at the building peak, and another person on the outside of the building at the eave. That third person, if available, should be on the inside of the building on a step ladder close to the sidewall to help in lifting panels onto the roof. The roof panels are cut to allow for a six inch overhang past the eaves, which means you would start them about four inches down from the peak. If you want less of an overhang, just start them closer to the peak. Drive a number 12 by one inch frame screw halfway into the first frame, four inches down from the peak. We want one of these in the last frame too, down at the other end. Now, stretch a string line between these two. This is your top guide for where to place your panels, keeping them straight all the way down the roof line. The first panel should be placed at the front or back edge of the roof, flush with the outside of the building frame. We like to start at the same end of the building where we started the side walls. Place the overlap edge of the panel flush with the end of the building frame. Now the person's job at the upper end of the panel is to line up the panel's edge with the edge of the building's frame and set the upper edge of the panel flush with the string line. The person at the lower edge needs to line up the panel's edge flush with the edge of the frame and attach the edge of the panel to the next lowest roof purlin with a number 12 by 1 inch color coordinated screw. Until we attach the eave trim, we don't want any of the screws holding the panels down on the lowest purlin. Now the person at the top should attach the edge with one of the same color coordinated screws. Slip in your next panel and attach it with a few screws. Be sure to install one screw next to the underlap rib of each panel before you do much walking on the roof. This will make the roof more secure when you have to walk on it and it will also give you location points for marking where screws should go when the purlins aren't visible. After placing three or so panels, you might want to take a measurement at the end of the building, making sure that everything is going to come out square. If there are any adjustments to be made, make that adjustment in how the next panel goes on. After all the roof panels are on, as I described above, you're going to get on the roof and run a straight line, marking where each screw should go so that those lines are nice and straight. Remember, when walking on the roof, step on the flat areas of the panels, not on the major ribs, and you need to make sure you step near or on top of the purlins or frame members. Now, when you're putting the exterior roof panels on the other side, the top person will have to work from the side of each panel or from the roof on the other side, but other than that, the actual installation procedure is the same.